been frustrated with clapboards for a while now because they're either too expensive because some grand brand made them or they're too cheap and they just break apart the first time you use them. The best solution I found was this 15 pound on Amazon one, which it's okay, it does a little bit of the job before it starts breaking apart all over again. I think I've been through two or three of these already. But a few weeks ago, I came across Gabe and his clapboard. Gabe is a great filmmaker and a C. His clapboard was that same Amazon clapboard that I've been buying this whole time, but it looked a little different. It looked better. I noticed that he made changes to the clapboard that really made it work and it seemed a little more reliable. And I just thought that was awesome. Uh, so I called Gabe and I asked if I could steal his idea and he said, Hey man, yeah, that's okay. First thing, we need to visit the hardware store. So step number one, supplies. I like to take the opportunity that we're modifying the board to kick it up a notch and add other things that may be handy for an AC. We got our supplies, we're ready to start. But beforehand, we need energy, more specifically, caffeine. Step number two, analog. We do a lot of our work in the computer, so I think when we're doing physical work, it's important to step away from the desk. Step number three is go time. Time to put the idea to practice. The way we shoot films, we like to do scenes, slates, and takes. So we had to squeeze slate into there. So I erased everything that was on the board and rewrote it. I used a little bit of tape to move things around. I don't expect this to be perfect, but that's how we make it ours. Step number four, don't overthink it. This won't be perfect. The edges may frustrate you and things won't fall into place. But the screws that came with the handle that I bought broke inside the clapboard. go back to the store and get some super glue. Super glue fixes everything. But just like making movies, it's those happy accidents that give it a character. So embrace it. I use Velcro to attach things in the back. I put this little key ring on the side so I can hang tapes and anything else I need in there. And that's it. This is now my clapboard. 